Hello? Miss Makara. Can we get back to the interview? Uh, yes. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. Just caught up in my thoughts. Driving, you know. What other questions did you have? I thought you got what you needed. Do you mind if I ask what you were just thinking about? Just now? Honestly? If you don't mind. I was just thinking about why I do this. I mean, you tell me. Why would anyone want to take on the world with some foolish words, drive all over to talk to a few people, write things that only a handful, sometimes not even your own mother will read? So why do you do it then? Why did you decide to write poetry one day? I was just angry. Angry at those who I thought were my people. Angry at people who I thought hated me. Angry at that ignorance. When was that? That you decided to write my first poem? <laughs> It was a bad dream. A bad dream I had. That I still sometimes have. That I think about. <laughs> She's got a broom in her hand. This lady runs up with a fucking broom about five feet tall. She beat the shit out of four really big guys. <laughs> so, uh, what do you like to do when you're off? Um, <laughs> well, um, well, I, um... L listen, Mertz. There's not... You gonna give me my money do, back? You know? <laughs> Come They're on, willing now, pretty to girl like you can get a lot of dates. Who is this guy? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm only human. How, how, what? <laughs> I didn't hear you right. Oh, Somebody's got a loud mouth in here. here. You don't have to serve me. <laughs> Damn it, Merch, I trusted you. So I want to know who this guy is. Ooh, good guess. <laughs> You're killing me. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Well, you know what they say, you can take the boy out of the city, but you can't take the city out of the boy. I think that's right. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. How's it going? I think they can hear you clear back in town. You don't have to be that loud around here. We're just enjoying ourselves. Isn't that what patrons are supposed to do? My patrons mostly live around here. They know how to behave themselves in public. You want to howl like an animal? You go do it with your own people. Dad, that's Wait. no. Wait, that's just no a idea. minute. You got a problem with my people? What's your business around here anyway, mister? None of yours. You people think you can come in here and take Stand anything away from us? Yourself. What's the matter with you? He's done nothing to you. You're going to spend the night with the Jew here? Shut hey. your mouth, Jasper. You said just about enough. You get out of my way, hillbilly. Please. 
excuse me. I'm sorry. You're going to pay for that. He just did. That's not what I had in mind. It's obviously, we're not thinking. No, you can't use the phone. Sir, do you think you could help me? What is it? I need to make a call. My, um, my car stranded up the road and my cell's dead. He wouldn't let you use the phone. up the road here. It's not far. Oh. Um. Ah, don't worry. It, it's, uh, I didn't deck that guy back there. I mean, that should tell you something. It's probably only a mile or so, I'd say. You got the directions, right? I don't think that's necessary. Mr. Detective. All right, hold on. Excuse me. the number here. You like the stones, huh? You people like jewelry. Isn't that the truth? And what do you know about my people? I know how to make a living selling fake diamonds to people who want to show off what they wish they had. Is that what you think it is? Some wannabe status? Mr. Levitansky. Mr. Levitansky. Have you been to Africa? Do you know the names? Ashanti, Yoruba. Imported perfumes? <laughs> They're tribes. Just like the Levy. The Asher, the Benjamin, all that I'm quite sure you're familiar with, Mr. Levitansky. How do you know all this? I attended Columbia University. A scholarship? I wish. My father paid every penny. But you made good on all your father's pennies, huh? I am a poet from New York. Well, New York's a livable city. What part? Brooklyn? Crown Heights? Mm. I lived there as a student. You lived there? In mind, body, and spirit. 
I don't think we can talk about this. Did something happen? With your Columbia education, I know you know what happened. To you? My father lost his business on the first day. Never saw him cry till then. It was August 19th, 1991. That was a terrible day. What did your father think about Lindbergh Nelson and what happened to him at the end? You ask what he thought of one of the murderers? Why don't you ask me what he thought of the victim? Because I'm sure we felt the same. Did you? Why do you doubt? Because I find it hard to believe that you care so much for the life of a Jew. I mean, who is Yankel Rosenbaum to you? An innocent victim. And it didn't matter that he was Jewish. It mattered to the mob that killed him. I asked you, what did your father think of Nelson? Did you ever ask him? My father never lived to see that man go to jail for killing Rosenbaum. Instead, we all danced in the streets that justice had been served. Lindbergh Nelson went to jail for violating Rosenbaum's civil rights. Makes no difference at all. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Nelson serving 16 long years in jail. It's hardly an eye for an eye. But vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I was just angry. Which one is it now, huh, Jeff? Do you know what time it is? You said you'd be home in just an hour. Past three o'clock. Jasper, you ought to come home. Drinking here is not going to do you any good. Everybody agreed. It was our family's land. Pawned off to pay Dad's debts. Can't we move on? I loved that place. I know it meant a lot to you. I know you feel cheated. He's a Jew, Hillary. And he sold us out to the highest bidder. Another Jew. We have to move on. Merch did the right thing selling it to the highest bidder. He sells real estate. That is what they do. No, sis. You go live with him if you want to. The blacks, the Mexicans, the Jews, the whole lot of them.
Hey, dude! I come for you. I come to take back what you're taking from me. You may have killed the Lord, but you ain't taking my daddy's land. Who's the one that me? Come out here, Mr. Jew. You're gonna learn just how much this means to me. Mr. Levitansky, what are you doing? Let's just get out of here. He's probably too drunk to catch us. Look, I don't run from my enemies. Will you let God be the judge? Well, sometimes you have to run. Now don't be crazy and put that gun away. You don't scare me, hillbilly. But you go back to your shack and leave me alone. I beg to differ. This one's not for you, Mr. G. But maybe this one is. Get down on your knees. Now! The chosen one. That what you call yourself? I believe in God, but who could choose me? I'm a drop out of everything. And if I don't get this land back, I'm gonna be a drop out of life. How did you know why I came here? You know what to do with it. Load it! You just do what I tell you. Now spin the chamber. Give it to me. You see? <laughs> I am a man of God. There will be retribution. The land will run red with the blood of truth. You don't expect me to do this. Just do as you're told. I can't. Put the gun in your mouth and shut up. My name is Anachai, and it means my people will live. Do it! Pull the trigger, Mr. Jew. Do it! Were you there when I cried? Did you leave me when I failed? When I asked for human touch? Did you find out why I felt like breaking bones my whipping belt? Wish you'd ask me to restore broken things forevermore. I got you my retribution. <laughs> It didn't have to be this way. We can rewind to yesterday. Learn the lesson and take the time. And remember that love will always rise. You have the gift, this plastic art, to imagine us another star. Stay, 
if you'd like. Just as you prefer to wear black and white, we like bright colors. They're African. The shiny metals and stones reflect the light and soul. So it doesn't matter that what you sell is zirconia. The light makes them spiritual, and that reflects the soul of the person that wears them. What if whoever trashed your father's store? Some of your people did come to help. But he would let none of them touch what they destroyed. What if they had to rebuild it and make amends with your family? We show no weakness. And it would be ridiculous for us to let our enemies help us rebuild what they destroy. Ridiculous to rebuild a community? To rebuild trust? There wasn't any. It was a match on gasoline just waiting to happen. You were right. We shouldn't have talked about this. Who am I? Don't feel like much. Will you leave me if I cry? Will you be there when I fail? When I ask for human touch? I want you, my retribution. What you gonna do if I step on you? What you gonna do just not for you? What you gonna say when it's your last breath? Words you call for after death. It was a bad dream, a bad dream I had, that I still sometimes have, that I think about. <laughs>